Morning guys, Scott from SE Landscaping and today I think I mentioned a couple of days ago that we've got some allotment clearances to do starting with an easy one which I'll show you now of what we're gonna what we're gonna do on the site. So as you can see a lot of fences have blown down on these allotments recently. That isn't part of the plan today. I've just removed that panel that was laid on the floor so that we can get access. And it's just a matter of trimming this down, leveling that soil, and if there's any stones in it, taking them away because this is a plot that someone else is going to use. Basically, taking out any bits of wood, any bits of stone, all this crap here, any bits of rubbish, just so that it's a, it's basically a plot for someone to start again. So, we shall get you a bit of footage. It is very wispy stuff, it's all sort of dead. So all I'm going at it with today is the three mil still cord. And I'm just going to cut it up five or six times. trimming done a couple of brambles to put down and against the wall it'll go straight in the van everything else is chopped up fine we'll give it a light rake but and level these piles next the rubbish will go on we'll leave the fruit tree and it's basically just leaving a blank canvas for somebody to come in we'll level the compost and then lots of fly hair lots of rubbish just to clean up but uh Made quite a difference there in 20 minutes and then obviously the fence that need repairing but uh, that's for another day
so that's everything cut down barra there barra three four barra loads bit of mesh bit of bramble to rake up and then i'll give it a final trim a little bit of fence in there same again just cut up small on the van a couple of tools will probably leave for the lucky person who's going to get the plot like i say i'll probably level that compost so let's get loaded up
So that's that one finished. I've dug in there and it's full of compost. So rather than spreading it, I've left it in a pile, raked everything off. Like I say, once this is cultivated with a rotivator, it will come up canny. Same again, another pile of compost. The path now is just up and down. Got rid of all the rubbish, the glass. Yes, there will be bricks and a few other things in, but the fly tipping and the stuff in general, but it will come up as a decent allotment once it's um, finished. Left the fruit tree, and then there's the fence I've laid down, which I now have to give a price for repairing, which, looking at it, probably be able to reuse the boards, maybe one, two, three posts, three rugs of concrete, maybe a couple of extra rails, so maybe 60 pounds worth of timber and then some labor, but plot ready. So, job done. Um, basically, I've, I took before and after photos, which I now send to the council um, to say it's completed because the worst thing you can do with sites like this is clear them. And then what you find is some allotment guy will come and tip some rubbish. So, I've covered myself and I've also sent in a quotation there of what it would cost to get three posts, three bags of concrete, three um, 12 foot rails and then an hour and a half uh, an hour and a half half's work just to do the job so chances are cost they let in the allotment that i'll get it done but apart from that it's uh it hasn't made a bad one we get good and bad ones i will be filming a bad one probably next week um which is uh, an absolute mess so we'll get some footage of that it is just chock-a-block full of rubbish and need to clear it out but the main thing is it's all work and it pays the bills and in winter time when you've got at the moment I've got eight of these to do and a few more coming in um, it fills gaps here and there it's quarter 11 so it's filled two and a half three hours this morning and I'm on to do another one now which is the same again this is just a, a stream and a bit of a litter pick it's quite a tidy one so it's filled the day with two jobs that's well and truly paid for paid for today it's uh, there's decent rates on these so it's um, they're, not, they're not too bad you've just got to be careful like I say I wear the thick gloves because you've got to be careful of glass and things with um, the amount of greenhouses that's been smashed over the years but I don't pick everything out the soil it's a matter of getting it down to ground level and then when people cultivate it it's obviously their risk of what they find under the ground which which could be anything so I mean I found a fork and a shovel there just I'm just hoping that when the next person comes they don't find the previous gardener underneath so but that's job done um, it's all part of like I say um, upselling when I got the when I get these contracts with the council these aren't in the tenders it's grass cutting and everything else but because they manage the allotments and because we spray the tracks um, they asked us at the start of the contract do we want to do bits of fencing repairs or do they want to get someone in and I said no we can do the fence repairs and then it's do you want to do you want to clean a couple of allotments and I said yeah fine and we've been getting um, steady steady winter work over the I've had this contract for 11 years and over them 11 years it's probably filled two or three weeks in every year which is, is massive especially in the winter years ago when I was first setting up and I didn't have a to winter work it, uh, it filled the gap so it pays the bills as well so thanks for watching guys and we will see you on the next one